Steve, let's think. As we've indicated, we, we actually think our current framework is serving as well. So why do this at all? The economy's in a good place, and we have the opportunity to see if we can do our job uh, even better. We have a job assigned to us by the Congress, as you know, which is maximum employment and price stability. And this is all about having the best set of tools and strategy uh, to achieve this. We're early on in the process. This is called Fed Listens for a reason. We're in listening mode uh, now. But later in the year, within the committee, during our regularly scheduled meetings, we're going to start to think about drilling this into particular ways we could refine the framework. And any of the things that I said, are those possibilities? I think some of them are possibilities. I'm not going to which are and which are not, but we're going into this with an open mind. Uh, however, as I and Chair Powell and others have indicated, Steve, this is not about economic theory. This is about refining our framework in a way that could be of practical uh, use. And so we're going to have a, a high hurdle for any major change to the framework. All right, I want to come back to this concept later because, yeah. because there's a practical reality which is not hitting your inflation target. But before we get there. Yeah. I think in the interest of transparency, sure. can you tell us what you think you know about the impact of tariffs and higher tariffs on the economy? How okay. does it work? Well, okay, that's a great question because tariffs have a number of impacts on the economy. First, they push up prices, so in that way there's an increase in the price level. Typically, that's not inflationary. It's a one-time increase in the price level. Secondly, they potentially impact supply chains, and if it persists, and if those impacts are large, that can have some impacts on, on productivity um, as as well. I think what I can say is to date the tariffs that have been put in place on the economy have had a small effect uh, in the aggregate and I think the others would agree with that consensus. As we move ahead and we consider potentially more tariffs and potentially retaliation, that potentially has a more uh, noticeable effect on the economy and we would have to take that into account. But how do you take it? Well, let, let, me, yeah. let, me, start, let me start off, let yeah. me get, get there in a second. Yeah. So you're saying you see the sign as negative for growth. But the question is, what number you put after the sign? Yes. Is it a large number, or right sure. now you think it's a small number? Well, so far it has, I think we're confident in saying so far the tariffs in place have had a, a small impact, if at all, on growth. So would you say your inclination, if with more tariffs coming through, yeah. is to address the backside of it, which is weakness and growth, or the front side of it, which is at least an initial impulse of higher prices? Again, I think we would, we would confront that when we get to it, but I think the way that I think about it, Steve, as one member of the committee, um, is I think textbook macro would indicate that you would tend to look through the price level effect of higher tariffs because it's not really telling you anything about long-run inflation. Um, and I think that that would be my first instinct, which would be to look would be to look through that on the price level. Okay, and now... And then obviously slower growth means that you want to do what you can to maintain growth at its potential. Would this be something the Fed might consider to do preemptively in the wake of higher, higher tariffs put in place? Or would you wait to see the effects of well, this? Well, look, I think the big picture, it's very important for your viewers, Steve, is we really focus on what is the outlook for the economy relative to our mandate. And we're going to look at a wide range of indicators, not just what you mentioned, but a broad range of indicators. And if we get a sense that the outlook uh, is slower, growth is slower than we expect, uh, and we get the sense that underlying inflation is below where we want it to be, then as Chair Powell and I and others have indicated, we're going to put in place appropriate policy to achieve those goals and whether or not that means acting preemptively or when the data comes in it's just going to depend on, on on the context at the time but under understand that our goal is to put in place policies that not only achieve but sustain price stability and maximum employment and we'll do that if we need to